Hey guys, it's Kara here and I'm back with another video this time. I'm drawing on the Note 20 Ultra using Autodesk Sketchbook. I started this drawing at work during my lunch break. I had like 10 minutes or so for this sketch and, I'm, and I recorded this handheld with my Note 10 Plus. So I'm so sorry for the shaky footage, but I really do enjoy the 9 millisecond response rate of the S Pen. That's their new upgrade this year. Like that, that basically means that it's like super accurate. It's like up to the level of the iPad Pro, the second gen Apple Pencil with like where, where the tip is at, the, uh, the, the S Pen is at, even though I didn't really have as much of a problem with it in previous generation but now it's like perfected and the 120 hertz um refresh rate display actually did make a, 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 a good significant difference when i'm drawing so i really just enjoyed the just all oh, the extra specs and things like that but i do not have a, i do not have a case for this phone so when i was drawing on it at the, like the lunch table at work it like you guys could see how it wobbles because of the thick camera glass so that was a little bit annoying but it did not stop me from doing the sketch and this is a photo study of this girl that I found on Pinterest. I was like, oh, this is cool. Let me draw this for this video to like really show you guys how um, the Note 20 Ultra works in like a, oh, in a program that I enjoy. One downside that I just noticed now is that it's not taking advantage of the extra screen real estate. I do enjoy how the Note 20 Ultra is slightly bigger than the Note 10 Plus last year. I just like the longer form of it. It gave me more screen real estate for a lot of apps and I really do enjoy that and it's just like super long. But oh boy um so for this video i did not use my norris pencil <laughs> one reason is that like it's very brittle and i couldn't bring it with me to work and so i decided to just use the default s pen that came with it and i i'm, I'm enjoying this one I'll, I'm, I'm enjoying this one <laughs> besides the technical aspect of the improved millisecond and stuff it feels very similar to last year's s pen and that's the main thing i'm gonna say <laughs> This has nothing to do with the drawing aspect of it, but having the S Pen on the opposite side that I'm used to was kind of, it was kind of, it's it still takes me a while to adjust to. Like I'm so used for it, oh, for so many generations being on the other side. So um, in the one quick moment, I'm gonna switch to kind of live view to really show you guys, um, some, you know, real life drawing instead of just like everything like super speed up. So one, two, three. Guys, I wanted to show you guys in some parts in real time of just the color on this so that way you guys could see the was Oh man, the the accuracy of this pen Samsung is really Oh man, I forgot the exact numbers because I'm not um I have I forgot the exact specs to this, but oh boy, like where I point it, it's where I make the line and it's so responsive and the, oh man I'm really seeing the difference now with the 120 hertz display and for this you guys are wondering I will definitely have the comparison with the note 10 plus s pen and the note 9 oh man even though like ah oh, just it's just it just kind of it just improves the drawing experience just like just like just just enough and yeah guys so I just wanted to show you guys another angle and now uh, let's get back into speed painting mode. And I hope that I was able to show you in real time how uh, how slow the latency is from the S Pen like to the actual screen contact and stuff. Um, I did do more because I did uh, I was finishing finishing this drawing up after work and uh, I just wanted to just draw and not focus so much on the technical aspect of it because I will have other specific videos zooming in showing you exact every second. But this video I wanted to just show you oh the whole process of just drawing on it and just kind of having fun taking the technicality out of the whole equation and taking my bias against this huge price tag like with like me every single year I hate to recommend the newest note to everyone because each year it keeps getting more more expensive and expensive and expensive and like last year I really did enjoy the note 10 plus as a full package but with the S pen wise I did not like it as much but with the note 20 this year I feel like oh like the the, the nine millisecond response rate is uh, as a worthy upgrade not from not if you're coming from the note 10 plus per se but if you're coming from the note 8 and you want to upgrade this is the time like this oh oh this oh man this I, I feel so spoiled now after after using it going back to my um, note 10 plus like granted I, I can live without it uh, but it's it's really nice that Samsung's step, stepping up their game 
and it's showing that they care about artists especially now with the partnership with click studio paint even though i have my own opinions and about that i have the video up in the pop-up card at least for the note series but it's a step in the right direction and i definitely think they're gonna improve it and like oh man i'm so excited about the future of android now like now this is the peak of the hardware like oh uh, like oh guys i'm so passionate about the note series because it's so useful being able to draw in in inconvenient places like me drawing at work like i like i could take out my tablet and do that but it was just so convenient just doing it on my phone and i could do it anywhere but since i needed to record it for this video i had to like make sure it was somewhere i was sitting down and because i, I could have drawn it like handheld and stuff like that but i, I wouldn't have a rig to record it all because i need i would need to, I, I was using <laughs> as you guys could see in the first part of the video um i was just only, only using one of my hands even though in this part too like it sped up and only like see you can see my hand right here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was only using like one hand and it was just like really nice like even though this phone keeps getting bigger I'm happy that Samsung's making it longer not so much as wider So at least for me, um, I don't know. I don't have the smallest hands. I just have really skinny hands um, It does fit my hands up but I still need a case. I still need a case, guys. Don't don't be like me. Get a case for this phone. I had to put this on like um on we um on on top of uh, my uh, planner cover. If you guys see on my Instagram, I posted how I was filming this whole thing, and that's just because the camera bump is really that thick this year, and um it'll wobble your drawing. So that's why I like. Ooh. But besides the whole drawing wise, oh yeah, that's right. This is another kind of slow part, but I don't know why I did that one in slow part. It's just I'm just adding like kind of effects on it. I don't know if I like. I, I don't know. I'm changing things up in here. Oh, and for the whole drawing and the color scheme and stuff, I decided to I wanted to do like more details and painting style, but I kind of just left it a little bit rough. I didn't clean up a lot of my lines now looking at it as much as I wanted to because I, I I I got a little bit tired, but I. My main focus in a lot of my pieces is the color work, so I focus a lot on contrasting and different bring different things in my color palette. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have any questions, comments, and concerns, leave them down below, and I catch you guys in the next one. Bye.